So here we are with some pieces here which uh, I've prepared earlier. These pieces are now ready for cutting. Uh, this is for another project I have on. To get them to this stage, very simply glue the pattern onto the wood that you're going to use. And I generally use a good quality birch plywood. Glue the pattern onto the wood. Drill a hole dead centre, that hole to match the spindle that the gear wheel's eventually going to be running on. Then cut it out roughly on the bandsaw, cut it roughly circular. Once we've done that, I take the drill that we used to drill this hole, fit it into a piece of plywood that's clamped onto a disc sander table fit the wheel over the drill. You can then carefully push that up against the sander and turn it. Keep moving it in until you eventually get a nice clean circular disc onto the face of the teeth. That's a very simple process. So, cutting the teeth on the gear wheels. When I first started the clock project, I experimented with various methods. I tried the router on the router table, tried a scroll saw, before hitting on the technique that I use, which is a bandsaw. And here you can see the setup is just a small bench mounted bandsaw with the extra attachment of uh, a magnifying light. So here's a piece I've already started. You can see there's about six teeth been cut out already. I'll just explain to you what I'm going to do before I start the bandsaw because once the bandsaw is going uh, you probably won't be able to hear what I'm saying. So I'll cut out a small piece between the teeth first of all. Once that's been removed I then use the kerf on the saw blade to carefully take it up to the line at each side and then take the last bit out the bottom between the teeth. So I'll start the bandsaw now and just show you that being done. So there we are, that's another two teeth cut. All we need to do now is finish sand it, take off all the, the rough bits you can see at the back, 
sand it down to the line and then check the whole thing for accuracy against the teeth of the gear wheel that it's going to mesh with. Simple as that.